In this problem, we analyze a frictional brake. The brake is designed to stop a clockwise rotating wheel. The rotational action is induced by a motor, which transmits to the wheel a torque equal to M0. Our task is to determine the minimal force P for brake. We analyze this brake by looking at the free body diagrams for the wheel and the beam. For the wheel, we have the forces T1 and T2, tensions in the cable. The forces induced by the motor and finally the torque M0 induced by the motor. Friction between the belt and the wheel is essential because it allows us to have T1 not equal to T2 and these two different forces will balance M0. For the beam, we have the forces T1 and T2 related to the forces introduced in the previous free body diagram the forces at the pin and the applied load P necessary for brake. The free body diagram for the wheel requires us to write only one equilibrium equation. Some of the moments about E. This equation establishes a relationship between applied torque M0 and the forces in the cable, T1 and T2. In addition, we claim that the minimal action requires the state of impending motion between the wheel and the belt. Uh, if there is free sliding, then the braking action will not be realized and of course if t1 is much larger than t2 then we will be applying larger action than necessary therefore i observe that the force t1 must be larger than t2 and the relationship between these two forces involves the exponential term derived in class. Next, I will look at the beam and I will again write only one equation because I am not interested in the reaction forces at C. And now I can combine the equilibrium equation for the wheel, for the beam, the condition for impending motion, and I will solve the last two equations to express the forces T1 and T2 in terms of P and the coefficient of friction. Finally, I can substitute the forces T1 and T2 into the first equation, and this will allow me to identify P in terms of the coefficient of friction, M0 and A. Thank you.